Hey guys, Malcolm here at Bug Out Brothers. You know, a lot of times when people put their first Bug Out bag together, they get the basics down. They get a knife, they get some cordage, a flashlight, maybe even a tent. And they think, well, I'm good to go. Bring on the zombie apocalypse. Well, simmer down there a bit, Hoss. It's a lot of very important items that people often overlook and forget about. With that in mind, today I'm bringing you the top 10 most forgotten Bug Out bag items. Stay tuned. So my number one item on the list is anti-diarrhea medicine. In pretty much any type of disaster, you're, you're going to be under a lot of stress. Your diet is probably going to change. You might end up drinking some water that you probably shouldn't be. And shit's going to happen, literally. Not only is it a messy situation, but it can be life-threatening. So really simple, some anti-diarrhea medicine is cheap, it's lightweight, it's small. This could save your ass one day. My number two item is a sewing kit. So people often forget that your clothes is part of your shelter system. You know, shelter is one of the most important things when you're out in the wilderness, and your clothes is part of that system. So if you get a hole in your pants and it ends up tearing and it's huge, it, it's your pants are now ineffective. They're not gonna protect you from the element. And not just your pants, but your sleeping bag, your bug out bag, you know, a lot of these articles of clothing, if they get torn, they're going to essentially be useless. So just be prepared and have a sewing kit. They're cheap, they're small, and they're lightweight. You don't really have an excuse not to have this in your bug out bag. Number three is water purification. I personally carry a water filter slash bottle from Katadyne. Uh, it's got a charcoal filter in here, but there's other types of systems you can use, uh, such as life straws, or there's pumps that you can have. A lot of people overlook water. They focus on knives, they focus on guns, they focus on food, and they don't think about water. Yet, water is more important than any of those things. Without water, you can only survive for three days. So get yourself any type of water filter, even if it's a cheap life straw or a cheap water bottle like that, that was only $40. Get yourself a water filtration system. So number four is a bandana. It might not seem like it, but a bandana can be incredibly versatile, okay? You can use this as a first aid. You can use this to filter water. You can use this to carry uh, food and store food. Uh, you can use this to collect dew. You know, there's many uses for a bandana. And again, it doesn't take up much room. It's cheap and it's very lightweight. So get yourself a bandana. Number five is a road map. You know, there's a really good chance that you might end up on foot at some point and having to navigate on your own. You know, your GPS probably is not gonna be working anymore in a worst case scenario. And you have to figure out your quickest way away from civilization, away from all the other refugees. This map is gonna help you. This will help you find water sources. This will help you find your bug out location, it'll help you find the closest national park, whatever you want. A simple little map is going to help you dramatically. And again, it's cheap, it's lightweight. You have no excuse not to have a local map in your bag. So my number six item is a little bit of a luxury item, but if you've ever done any serious camping, you know how valuable this is, and that is bug spray. In the summertime, mosquitoes can absolutely ruin your day. And not only that, they can transmit a lot of fatal diseases that you really don't want. Again, it's cheap, it's small, it's lightweight. Get some mosquito repellent. Number seven is a portable radio. So I've actually got one that is hand cranked so you can charge it yourself and also doubles as a flashlight. Very useful. But if uh, in the worst case scenario, you wanna be able to listen to the news and listen to weather forecasts. This also comes in handy, not only in bug out situations, but bugging in situations. Whenever I have a power outage, this is always the first thing I grab just so I can listen to the radio and listen for any major news reports. This is uh, it's not as cheap, it's not quite lightweight, it is small, but get yourself a portable radio for your bug out bag. Number eight is a change of clothes. I keep my clothes in one of these dry sacks here so it doesn't take up as much space and if uh, my bag ever gets wet, these will stay dry. So my personal change of clothes is camouflage 
And I like that because when I'm in an urban environment, I don't want to be wearing camos, okay? I want to blend in with my environment, and that's going to be an urban outfit. When I'm out in the wilderness, that is where I want to put my camos on, and I want to put away my urban outfit that might stand out in contrast to the wilderness. So make sure you have a change of clothes with some dry socks and dry underwear in your bug out bag. My number nine item is oral hygiene. I think a lot of people really overlook this one. Personally, I don't want to go four or five days without brushing my teeth, and let's say it's even longer. Let's say a month without brushing your teeth, a year without brushing your teeth. That's it's, it's disgusting. You're gonna have so many cavities, and even if you're in a, a really shitty situation, you got a cavity. Like it's just gonna make it so much worse. Like you're not gonna be able to want to eat or drink. Like oral hygiene is overlooked, but it's very important in a really sh shitty situation like that. So a little thing of Crest and a little toothbrush, man, that's all you need. It's cheap, it's lightweight, it's small. Take care of it. So I saved the most important item for last. You ready? Drum roll, please. It's a survival guide. This will save your life. Uh, if I had to, if I had a knife and this book, I could go live out in the woods for a month, I'm sure, and be alive at the end of it. Okay, this is going to teach you how to procure food, how to procure water, how to build shelter, how to signal for help, first aid, everything is in here, okay? Knowledge is power. This is probably the most important item in my bug out bag. I would trade any other item, including my gun, for this. I'd trade my knife for this book, okay? A survival guide like this is absolutely crucial to your bug out bag and this should be the first item that you put in your bug out bag okay this is the most important thing in there so there you go guys that's in my opinion the 10 most forgotten bug out bag items that leave anything off the list let me know down in the comments I'm really interested to hear what you guys think if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe for more bugging out and prepping videos